Hey, what's up guys? David here from Dignited. Today, continuing on our Chromebook series, I want to show you how you can screen mirror your Chromebook to your smart TV. Let's get into it. One of the cool features with Chromebooks is the ability to effortlessly cast your computer screen to your smart TV. Screen casting or mirroring is built into the Chrome browser, which Chromebooks are primarily centered around. With this feature, you can display your Chromebook's entire display or a Chrome tab or a supported media app such as YouTube or Netflix or Disney Plus to the big screen wirelessly. Now, you don't really need cables at all with this method with screen mirroring. So, before you cast your Chromebook wirelessly to your TV, you need to make sure that you meet at least the following requirements. One, your Chromebook and your TV must be connected to the same Wi-Fi network. For instance, on my Chromebook, I'm connected to the DDWRT Wi-Fi network. And on my Smart TV, I'm actually also connected to the same Wi-Fi network as you can see right here. So this is really important for screen mirroring to work. Both your Chromebook and your smart TV or streaming stick must be connected to the same Wi-Fi network. The other thing that you want to do is to turn off VPN on your Chromebook. This is really important. Sometimes the VPN interferes with the local screen mirroring. You also want to ensure that your TV has Chromecast support. Usually this means that the TV has Chromecast built in, which is common with most Android smart TVs. Alternatively, if you don't have an Android smart TV, you can just get a streaming device with Chromecast support built in. Now, common devices with Chromecast support are the Google Chromecast, the Xiaomi Mi Box, the Nvidia Shield, or the TiVo, and several others. Other platforms such as Roku and Fire TV have Miracast instead. Now, Miracast will only cast specific video sites such as Netflix, YouTube, Disney Plus to the smart TV. It won't allow casting of like your entire Chromebook to the smart TV. So that's really, really important to take note of. All right, so let's cast a specific Chrome tab to the big screen. Let's come to Chrome here. I have a little cute cut here that we can cast to the big screen. So come to the menu options here, then just under print, you see the cast option, tap onto it. Now you will get two, you will get um, your smart TVs that are compatible with Chromecast appear here. You can see my living room TV appear here, which is actually the Google Chromecast. And then you can also see the TCL Roku TV. Now, TCL Roku TV doesn't have Chromecast built in, so the only thing I can do here is if I have specific video sites open like YouTube or Netflix that I can then cast video to, but I can't cast a Chrome tab to my Roku TCL. All right, so let's come and tap onto the uh, Google Chromecast here. Let's tap onto it. And as you can see, that particular tab is cast onto my smart TV. And you get a notice here, you get, you also see the cast icon appear down here in the system tray. Uh, when we select that, we can stop casting if we choose to by simply tapping on stop option right here, or we can just come to the cast icon right here on uh, Google Chrome browser, tap onto it, and when we tap onto the Smart TV once again, uh, you'll see that it's saying stop casting, and we can choose to stop casting just like that. And yeah, that's how you can stop casting. Now, the other option is we can cast the entire screen. As you can see, that is the desktop and all the other applications running on my Chromebook to the Smart TV. So uh, let's come to Google Chrome once again, come to the menu, come to cast. Now, I want you to pay attention to this sources button here. When you tap onto it, you see the default option, which is uh, cast only the tab, your Chrome tab, which is a default, but then you want to choose cast desktop. Now, 
once you choose cast desktop it will cast the entire desktop screen to the smart tv let's just do that and uh, check it out so tap onto it we get a notice that it's casting and on the tv it is now casting the entire desktop so once i minimize you can see that actually my entire chromebook is cast onto the smart tv and whatever application i open here you'll find that it's actually the whole thing is cast onto the smart tv so this is uh, really cool if you want to display i don't know specific applications that don't have chromecast built in and you can just push it on the tv and uh, if you have friends or family or, co or co-workers then you have a little small projector up there so that's really awesome all right great again if you want to stop the casting you can just come to the cast icon on uh, chrome and just tap on to the select the uh, display that it's casting into and just stop casting right there yeah so the other thing that uh, you can do is to cast video so let's go to youtube and just uh, see how that works ah really 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 great let me see uh, for two years now if you've wanted to travel okay all right so you can see we have the cast icon right here and you can just select it uh, on youtube and now you have the tcl uh, also available as i noted earlier yeah you have the tcl roku tv available as an option because this is uh, youtube and uh, you also have the living room tv here which is my google chromecast so you have actually both options available right now just because it's uh, uh youtube so just tap onto it and yeah now it's casting on the youtube onto my google chromecast and the video will start playing in a while oh yeah Oh yeah, so anytime you want to stop casting, you can come to the YouTube app and select the cast icon and just simply select our TV once again or our Chromecast and just stop casting. And just like that, the casting stops. All right, so that wraps it up. That is how you can cast or mirror cast your Chromebook to your smart TV or streaming stick. Uh, you have three options either you can cast a specific chrome tab to the tv or you can cast your entire laptop screen and display to the tv or you can just cast specific media which is a video or an image to the tv through supported video sites cool this sums it up let me know if you have any questions in the comments below otherwise we'll see you guys in the next one